name is Helena and my major is voice. I'm Rachel and I'm a third year piano music student. I'm Naomi. I'm a second year voice student. My name is Matthew Bermudez. I'm a first year and I'm a voice major. So you arrive a couple hours before your audition begins and you go and sign in at the table and someone will lead you to practice room to warm up so you can feel a little more comfortable and prepared. And then my accompanist came up and we rehearsed for about 15 minutes. Some people bring their own accompanist if they have one from back home and if not, um, the university sets you up with somebody. And then someone will come and get you and take you to your audition. One of the people on the panel will come out and welcome you and bring you into the room. Uh, they'll introduce themselves and they let you play a few notes. If you want a tune, you can do that. Get yourself comfortable and then they ask you to play what you would like first. Sometimes the committee is going to stop and start you in the middle of your piece. And that's not because you did a bad job or you made a mistake. It's simply because we don't have time to hear everything that you played. Then usually we'll have you play a couple scales and then we'll do a little bit of sight reading. I look for a general sense of musicianship and I guess if we want to break that down more particularly, I would say the rhythm and enjoyment and comfort with the music. And then we'll have you sit down and have a little interview with the audition panel. We want to find out about you. It's not the kind of questions where there's necessarily a right or a wrong answer. I generally ask what they're looking for in an undergraduate uh, institution, uh, why they chose to apply and audition at Western, uh, what they hope to, uh, to do with the degree, if they have any uh, specific career aspirations. I think coming prepared for an audition is much like coming prepared for even a performance. I feel really good when I have a water bottle with me and a lot of people bring it, no one's going to say anything. We're very experienced in listening to people and hearing through little mistakes, hearing through little imperfections that uh, are going to be worked on when they come. And so we want to put them at ease so that they show us their best selves. I will send out the first point of contact, which is an email from my office indicating the success of the audition and whether or not merit awards are being considered. From the date of audition, the earliest they will hear from me is within a week. It could be a week and a half. Then it may take another week to two weeks for the admissions office to send out the official offer. Once they get the official offer, depending on when it is, they have until June 1st to make the decision and then the student can re reach out to me directly or the student can reach out to our recruitment coordinator, Sasha, or admissions assistant, Odella, to follow up on if they have further questions.